Hey Cake Chums and welcome back to another video. Now if you saw my extra video that went up on Friday then you will know that one of the reasons why I haven't been here on YouTube for a while is that I actually had COVID and it essentially wiped me out for about two weeks. For that reason it meant that I didn't really get a chance to do a post Cake International video, I didn't really get a chance to do a uh, what I'm buying for Black Friday video and I've got a bit of a problem. Let's get to the video. This is doing all sorts of weird things to the lighting. But anyway, whenever people ask me for my top tip for people who are just starting to get interested in cake decorating and baking, I always tell them that you don't need to buy everything. Let's face it, people manage to make cakes for years and years and years without tons of equipment, and while there are many time-saving products on the market now, you don't necessarily need to own them all. That being said, as a baking slash cake decorating influencer, I really hate that word, digital content creator. I try to keep abreast of everything that is coming out to the market so that if I think something would be useful or interesting or just fun, I can share it with you guys here. That also means that I try and stay abreast of what offers are on at various different uh, retailers. I check out what people are selling at the shows, of course, and when something like Black Friday hits, I try and make sure I hunt out those bargains that you guys might be interested in. However, as I've already said, I have been ill recently, which meant that I have been doing a fair bit of shopping, but haven't actually been able to share any of it with you guys. So in this week's video, I thought I would show you just some of the bits and pieces I've been picking up over the last month or so, including some things I got at Cake International, some things I picked up during Black Friday sales, and a couple of bits and pieces that I was just really excited to find online. Some of these things I bought myself, and some of them were PR gifts, as you've seen in my videos before, and when those ones come up, I will make a point of, of telling you that they were PR gifts with a little thing up in the corner. I think it's that side. Oh, and one of them was actually just a gift from my friend, and I'm really excited about that one, so I'll definitely show you that. But what I thought I would do is just kind of dive into a few of these boxes, show you what I've been picking up, and if you're interested in seeing a bit more of any of them, then head down to the comments and let me know, and perhaps we can do a dedicated video where we put some things to the test, try them out, or perhaps make a cake with as many of them as we can. So I'm going to move some of these boxes out of the way, and uh, let's see what I've been buying. There we go, that's a little bit better. I've got a bit more room to move around now. And I'm going to start by showing you guys some of the bits and pieces I scooped up at Cake International. Now, one of the things I was most excited about tracking down at Cake International was the brand new modeling chocolate or sculpting chocolate from Karen Portaleo. Karen has teamed up with a company called Sugarin, who I believe are based in India, I could be wrong, to create her own line of edible sculpting chocolates. Now, those of you who have been watching my videos for a while will know that my favourite modelling chocolate to use for my cake sculptures was the Renshaw Belgian modelling chocolate paste. Unfortunately, during the pandemic, they discontinued it simply because they weren't able to manufacture as wide a range of products. So I've been desperately trying to find a replacement that I can use for some of my more elaborate cake creations. Karen Portaleo needs no introduction. She is by far and away one of the most talented cake designers working at the moment. So if anyone was going to create a high quality modeling chocolate or sculpting chocolate that is going to be amazing, then Karen is definitely that person. Unfortunately, Karen wasn't able to make it to Cake International this year, but I headed over to the Sugar Inn stand fully intending to purchase the whole range, only to discover that Karen had asked them to look out for me so that she could give me one of each of her brand new products. So first of all, a massive thank you to Karen. You really didn't have to, and it is very much appreciated. So so the new edible sculpting chocolate comes in a dark chocolate variety, a white chocolate variety which is called ivory chocolate and then a pure white variety and this one probably is the one that's got me the most excited because anyone who's worked with modelling chocolate before will know that even if you use white chocolate you don't get a white modelling chocolate because of course white chocolate is actually like a yellowy off-white colour. I haven't even opened these yet because again, I've been poorly. 
So I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into these. And if you'd be interested in having a play with them yourselves, I will pop a link down in the video description as to where you can go and find it. And as I mentioned earlier on, if you would like to see me trying the new edible sculpting chocolate in a dedicated video, do head down to the comments and let me know. And be sure to keep an eye on my social media because even if it doesn't make it into a dedicated YouTube video, you know you're going to see something created with it very soon over on social media. As always, my links are in the video description. Now, if you were watching any of the live video streams coming out of Cake International, you will know that Dinky Doodle, AKA Dawn Butler was there with her full range of products. And I actually stumbled over to her stand while she was in the middle of a Facebook live. Oh, oh, I'm live. I'm live, come here and say hello. Nice. Yeah, Very come nice. and say hello. Say hello, say hello. Look at this. You see, honestly, best people come to see my stand. How are you doing? I'm very well. I'm How very, are you? very tired. Oh, bless you. Are you very tired? Very, very tired. But don't go anywhere. Matthew, could you please get me um, set A of a drip? Can you also get me a selection of pellets and a drink of a cloth bag? Because oh, Rob, Rob needs them. Yeah, don't go anywhere. So, <laughs> bless him. I, he's not tried my drip yet, so he's not tried my metallic drip and he's not tried the chocolate drip and oh boy is he in for a treat. So I know we were in the middle of airbrushing, but live whilst we're here, I'm going to just explain to Rob what is amazing about this stuff. And I'm going to stand here really awkwardly in the background. And why he needs to fight, why he needs to try it. Now one of Dawn's most popular recent releases has to be her range of metallic drips. But would you believe I haven't got round to even trying them yet? So I was so grateful to Dawn for surprising me with the full range. This one here is the rose gold variety which would have been really useful on the 90th birthday cake I made recently, again, which you'll have seen if you're following me over on Instagram. And all you need to do to use this is just pop it in the microwave for a few seconds, give it a shake, and then it is ready to use on your cakes. Now you guys know that I love creating drip cakes, and in fact created a drip cake for my own birthday cake back in January. So I'm definitely looking forward to giving these a try. And again, thank you to Dawn for giving them to me. But Dawn also surprised me with her Dinky Doodle metallic dust, which I hadn't even seen before. Now this is actually a brand new range of edible metallic dusts, and apparently they're absolutely fantastic for mixing with alcohol, for painting, obviously using on their own for dusting, but they're also oil soluble, which means you can mix them with chocolate and cocoa butter as well. The fact that it's a really low, shallow container means there's no chance of knocking it over, which let's face it, someone as clumsy as me would definitely find a way to do. So it looks like this, a clear bottom, white lid with Dawn's logo on the top. And then when you open it up inside, there's a little cap there that you can pull off to get to your dust. And again, I think that's a really nice touch because that's going to stop any of those dust related disasters that at least I manage to have fairly regularly. So once again, thank you so much to Dawn for these wonderful gifts. And if you guys would like to see them in action, don't forget to head down to the comments and let me know. Now, the next thing I want to show you is a little bit different because it wasn't something I picked up or was given at Cake International per se. It's actually something that one of my friends sent over from Canada with another one of our friends who traveled over to the show. And that is the Marvel Captain America Waffle Maker. Now, you might be thinking that's a little bit random, but obviously I don't just do cake, I do baking as well. And one thing that I've been desperate to have a go at is making waffles, because if nothing else, Bobbit is a massive fan of waffles. I recently had this pop up on my social media as something I might be interested in and was desperate to get hold of it, but it wasn't available here in the UK. I believe you can only get it currently in America and Canada. I'd mentioned it to my friend Kelly who lives in Canada and bless her, she picked one up and sent it to me as a gift. So thank you so much Kelly. Not a PR gift for the record, just a gift from one of my friends. But the reason why I'm sharing it with you guys is I think that this could make for some really fun video content right here on my YouTube channel. You guys know that last time I had something sent over from the States, the Easy Bake Oven Saga. We had a lot of fun, so I wonder if we could get some video content out of making some waffles with the Marvel Captain America Waffle Maker. So again, if you'd like to see that and you think it would make for some entertaining video content, head down to the comments and let me know. 
I'll be honest, it's probably gonna happen anyway with this one, but we'll see. I think that's all the Cake International stuff I was going to show you, but I also wanted to show you one or two bits I picked up over the Black Friday weekend. Now, for the third year running, I managed to talk myself out of buying a sugar paste sheeter from Cake Star because I always have a fantastic deal on them, but I keep saying to myself, how often would you use it? Have you got the space for it? And the answer to both of those questions is probably no, but who knows, it might happen one day. However, one place where I did go a little bit overboard was the Zoe's Fancy Cakes Black Friday sale. Picking up this massive box of bits and pieces. Now, not all of it's new and not all of it's particularly exciting, but we're gonna go through the box together. I'm just checking I haven't doxed myself. Don't knock the camera over. I think we're okay. So, beautifully packaged as always. What have we got in here? Oh, the first thing we've got in here is something I meant to pick up at Cake International and completely forgot about. And that is the new range of out of the box sprinkles from PME. So I actually picked up four, but I've used one box already on the uh, Christmas Rocky Road I made on the Camera Kids Club this week. I'll link that video up in the corner if you're interested in checking it out. But I also picked up the Rainbow Sprinkle Mix, which looks like this. The Mermaid Sprinkle Mix, which looks like this. And the Princess Sprinkle Mix, which looks like this. Now I love a sprinkle mix, as you guys know, so that was always going to happen. But again, if you'd like to see them in a bit more detail, perhaps in an upcoming video, let me know. Otherwise, keep an eye on my social media because they are definitely going to pop up on a bake very soon. This isn't something I've ordered. This is something that Zoe has put in extra. So you really didn't need to do that. So in here, we have got Zoe's new badge collection. So again, if you've shopped Zoe's Fancy Cakes before, you will know that if you spend over, I think it's 50 pounds, or it might even be 40 pounds, she includes one of her little original design pin badges. Um, I've got quite the collection going on, but uh, she has also started to do little sets as well. So if there are any you've missed from previous months, oh, sorry, it changes every month, then you can now kind of complete your collection using these little sets. How adorable are those? And there are also these ones now as well, inspired by one of Zoe's recent cake creations during her Facebook Lives. Also in this box, she, she's really spoiled me, we have got the new mould. So we've seen Zoe's female face moulds before right here on the channel, but she has recently just released a whole load more, including the male face mould, which looks like this. There is another female face mould, which is called the Gemma. Oh, I lied, there's even more. There's another male face mould as well, goodness me. So there's the Gemma, then there's the Johnny, and this is the Brad, I believe. So the Brad has no eye indentations, the Johnny has no eye indentations, and the Gemma has eye indentations. And then there is the female figure mould, so that looks like this. And then there are also the baby and child full figure moulds as well. Completely wasn't expecting those to be in the box, so a really lovely surprise. And again, if you'd like to see them in action in an upcoming video, heads up, copy, well, you know what to do by now. Zoe also has a full range of tutorials over on her YouTube channel where she's showing you how to use these moulds as well. So if you've already picked them up or you're planning to pick them up, you can also head to the Zoe's Fancy Cakes YouTube channel, which again, I will link in the video description um, and check them out for yourself. But thank you, Zoe. Now back to our regularly scheduled program of unpacking the boxes that I was expecting. Okay. Oh my word, this one's heavy. Okay, so in here, oh this isn't very exciting for you guys. So this is um, stocking up on some of the icing that I need for my upcoming class, which you saw in Friday's video. If you're interested, I've got the black wrench or extra ready to roll icing, which is by far and away my favorite black icing I've ever used. I think there's some red in there as well. And then we've also just got the regular peach blush ready to roll icing, which we're going to be using for some of the features. And then there's another box in the box. I think my recycling bin will be full by the end of this video. Okay, so in here we have got, I picked up one of the, is it, 
Tycoon Rikon, I can never pronounce it, but one of the knife sharpeners to go with my ever-growing collection of Kuhn Rikon knives. And again, if you watch Zoe's content, you will know that these are her knives of choice. They come in both kind of just bright colours and patterns, and I already have three, I think. We now have five. But Zoe also had the knife sharpeners in her Black Friday sale as well. So I've picked up one of those just to keep my knives in tip top condition. And one of the Kuhn Rikon spatulas as well, just because it was pink. That was also in the Black Friday sale as well though, for the record. Oh, I picked up some of the Fractal Colours uh, edible pens in white. You guys know that I love using my Rainbow Dust edible markers or cake craft pens for my doodle cakes, but they unfortunately don't have a white one at the moment, so the Fractal Colours one comes in really useful. I've actually forgotten half the stuff I bought. It has been a while. I got a lovely new paintbrush that looks like this, um, and that's just for brushing water onto cakes before covering them with sugar paste. So, um, really nice. It's by De La Rowney, if that means anything to anyone. But it just looks like this. And then the last thing I got, I think it's the last thing, was another one of the Nordic Wear Bunt tins, and this is the Solera design. Um, I have a video right here on my channel using my existing Bunt tin, which I think might be their heritage, but I could be wrong. But I absolutely love these. I think they um, managed to help you make really kind of dramatic and exciting cake designs. And I thought this kind of starish or snowflakey style design might look really good for a Christmas bake. So um, yeah, that was also in the Black Friday sale. I think that's everything that I got from Zoe's. Now a lot of the stuff I have been buying recently is actually just to stock me up on kind of my general day-to-day -day consumables as well. So this massive box over here is from Cake Stuff and they finally got 12 inch cake drums back in stock again. So that is a very full box of cake drums. Um, oh, oh. Again, if you have been following me for a while, you will know that I am a big fan of Karen Davies Sugarcraft. If you don't know who Karen is or what she does, then first of all, you have been missing out because Karen creates some of the most stunning Sugarcraft molds that you have ever seen in your life. I've blocked the other camera with all this stuff, hang on. But anyway, yes, Karen makes absolutely stunning Sugarcraft molds and I already have quite the collection um, and I've used them on my knitted hat cake tutorial which is right here on YouTube and again I'll link it up in one of the top corners and at Cake International I use some more of her molds to create a really cool patchwork crochet effect cake which uh, there should be pictures of over on my social media again if you're not following me yet I'll put the link up on the screen somewhere but Karen got in touch after Cake International and basically said she wanted to send me some more of her Christmas themed products in case it was useful to me to use either here on my main channel or over in the Kenwood Kids Club because of course I do lots of content for children. There's one thing that I've had my eye on for a long time and that is, I think it's this one, the Sugar Snowflakes mold. So it looks like this. All of Karen's molds are this iconic purple colour, so if you ever see one for sale online and it's not purple, it's a fake. So the best way to buy these is to head directly to Karen's website, she does sell everything direct, but they do, I believe she also sells in some other cake decorating retailers too. But just look out for that purple colour. But anyway, this mould creates this stunning effect right here, which I think would look absolutely amazing around the sides of a Christmas cake. So I'm definitely going to be doing that on one of mine this year, if, if not all of them. If you'd like to see that or anything else, comments down below. But I'll be honest with you, I'm just gonna show you the box because Karen, you were ridiculously generous and I, I honestly don't think I can humanly use all of these molds before Christmas. I'm definitely gonna try. But one thing I've been desperate to try and haven't yet is using biscuit dough in Karen's molds because I see so many people doing it online, including Karen herself. And it creates, as long as you use a no spreading recipe, it creates absolutely stunning shaped biscuits that you can then go on to decorate or paint or what have you. Um, I'm just gonna whiz through these, but we have got the Christmas tree characters mold. The knitwear cookie mould, which is definitely going to pop up in a video because I'm obsessed with creating knitwear patterns on things. I just think it looks 
amazing. The gingerbread cookie mold, which looks like this. The Christmas cookie mold, which I believe might be the one that started all of the, the, the cookie adventures over at Karen Davy Sugarcraft. The snow globe mold, which honestly, I think I would just have to show you in a video because it's so clever, but I don't think you would understand just by me showing you the packaging. But basically you get the snow globe and then loads of different elements that you can mix and match to go inside. So cool. There's the festive mugs mold, the Christmas stars mold, the Nordic gnome mold, which again, very apt if you saw my video on Friday, the Christmas baubles mold. And then one of my kind of favorite things from Karen is all of her beautiful textured molds that she does. Again, like the knitwear, the crochet and so on. And one of the ones again that I've had my eye on for a while was the winter wreath, which looks like this but essentially it's all of the individual elements that you need to create that wreath. So you've got kind of like that, that pine tree in a big frond and then a smaller frond. You've got some poinsettias, you've got some uh, pine cones, you've got some other little filler flowers and just all of them combine, you can combine them together in different combinations to create some really stunning effects. And as I say, I've had my eye on this for ages. So. I'm thinking my Christmas cake this year is going to have this sort of design on the top and then possibly that snowflake design around the edge as well. But all of that will be done using molds, so it will essentially take me seconds. If you'd be interested in seeing a video of me decorating my Christmas cake using the Karen Davies molds, then again, head to the comments and let me know. As I mentioned on Friday, I have kind of planned out my videos for the next two months, but in there I have left myself some wiggle room for Christmas content. I'm definitely planning on doing a Christmas cake design, but if you'd rather see something else rather than this, then we can always save these for another occasion. But thank you, Karen, so, so much. You were far too generous, and I honestly can't wait to use these in some upcoming videos. This is probably already turning into quite a long video. So again, a lot of this stuff is just stocking me up. So I'm not gonna bore you with showing you all of it, but there was one other thing I really did want to show you, and it's something that actually I only discovered the other day, and I've been hoping that someone would do this for for years now. In fact, last year, I think I talked about the fact that somebody should do this, and that is create a sprinkles advent calendar. As I've already mentioned, I love sprinkles. I love sprinkle mixes. It's very easy to get stuck in a bit of a rut with sprinkles. So I think something like an advent calendar, where essentially you are going to have just a huge range of sprinkles to stock up your collection, plus the fun of opening an advent calendar is a genius idea. And as I said, I, I personally did think of it myself, but obviously I didn't make it. Happy Sprinkles did. So this is what it looks like when it arrives out of the box. But inside, it looks like this. And I feel like I need to play like an angelic chorus while I do that, because how awesome does that look? Now I'm not gonna open the whole thing on camera because I've, I've watched advent calendar videos here on YouTube before where they just open everything and show you what's in it and I kind of feel like, spoilers. But by the time this video goes up, it will be the sixth. So I'm thinking I can open the first six on camera for you guys and we can see what's inside. So let's start with number one. Oh wow. So first of all, it's a full size tub of sprinkle. I was expecting like tiny little sprinkles, but look at that. It's like a full size tub of sprinkles. That's amazing. And this is the Holly Jolly mix, which has got lots of gold and reds and whites. And I can see there's some like mini candy canes in there. There's a combination of the rods, the balls, the giant balls, what we would call hundreds and thousands or vermicelli sprinkles, all sorts going on in there. So that's very cool. That was the first. In the second, we have, this is called the All I Want Mix. And this is more of a like, kind of foam, can you see if I rotate it slightly? It kind of reminds me of like, um, do you remember Flying Saucer Sweets? The outside of those. And the, in here I can see bells, snowmen, there's angel shapes. The one thing I will say, sorry, by the way, um, Happy Sprinkles is based in Germany, and so I did have to buy this and have it imported from Germany. And they said it could take up to, I think it was like two weeks, but it didn't. It came in, I think about three or four days. Um, obviously we are already well into Advent, but I'm sure they're still available. So it's worth going to the website, which I'll link down in the video description and picking one up if you want one. Um, number three, number three, number three, number three. 
So this is a cake pot mould, so it's not just sprinkles in here. So in here we have Santa's Happy Cake Pop, which you can fill with chocolate dough or fondant. It looks like this, and it does come with a little information card as well. So that's cool, that's number three. Number four, number four. So four is another sprinkles mix. And this is called Pink Wonderland, and I love it already. In here we've got a combination of pink, de uh, pink sprinkles, there's some green holly leaves, and then there's some white snowflakes, and a few other bits and pieces going on in there as well. Five. This is called the Lipstick Love Mix, and these are giant chocolate dragées, or chocolate pearls. I love using sprinkles like this on my cakes because they tend to taste really nice. Um, they're definitely a lot better than the, just the solid sugar pearls. So that's very cool. And again, lovely shades of pink and purple and white. Okay, last one for today is going to be number six. Okay, so in here we have a sprinkle mix again, and this one is called Sleigh Ride. And so it's a combination of what looks like a really dark racing green color a kind of a very yellow gold and then lots of white vermicelli and snowflakes. I'll give you a little look at that one. Not quite so in love with it, but that's just my personal taste um, when it comes to colour. But I think so far of all the ones we've seen, I would definitely make use of that one, that one and that one. So three out of six isn't bad. And the great thing is because these are essentially full size sprinkle mixes, perfect for regifting. If you've got someone in your family or one of your friends who's really into cake decorating, you could just kind of gather a few of these up, wrap them up, perfect gift. But yeah, so that was the Happy Sprinkles Advent Calendar. If you would be interested in picking one of these up for yourself, do you head down to the video description. I believe they're still available, at least while I'm filming this. Um, and stay tuned to my Instagram, which again is linked down in the description because I'll be posting what is behind each door or in each drawer every day as we get closer to Christmas. But anyway, I'm kind of gonna wrap things up here because as I've already mentioned, a lot of the rest of this stuff is just stocking me up. So it's things like boards, icing, cake boxes and things like that, which will be really boring for you guys to see. But as I mentioned at the start of the video, if there's anything here that you've seen that you're like, oh, I'd love to see that in action, can you, can you make a dedicated video of that, or even just tell us a bit more about it, then do head down to the comments, ask away, and if I can answer just there and then, I will, otherwise I will make sure I include it in an upcoming video. Thank you so much to Karen Portaleo and the team at Sugarin. Thank you for Dawn of Dinky Doodle Designs. Thank you to my friend Kelly for the awesome waffle maker, which you're definitely going to see in an upcoming video. Thank you to Zoe for the, the mould. Thank you to Karen Davies. And then thank you to all of you guys for joining me for yet another video. Apologies again that I have been absent for so long, but hopefully we'll be back into the swing of things now. And as I say, lots of really exciting video ideas coming up. What I might also do, between you and I, um, I have got my top gift ideas for cake decorators video coming up in the next couple of weeks. And we always do a bit of a giveaway with that video. What I might do is scoop up some of these sprinkle mixes and perhaps some of the moulds and the dust and things that I've shown you today. Um, and pop them in along with the giveaway as well. Just because again, I don't think practically I will be able to use all of this stuff, so I'd love to be able to share it with some of you at home. So do stay tuned, look out for that video coming soon. And of course the best way to do that is make sure you've clicked on that subscribe button and clicked on the bell, because then you'll get a notification when my next video goes live. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, of course, you can click on the thumbs up to give it a like, that will tell YouTube to show it to more people. And do make sure you come back at the same time next week, Monday at six o'clock, where I will have another video for you. Until then, as always, take care and happy caking. Bye everyone.